Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm here from my stand gamers, and welcome. So today, I want to show you the really amazing upcoming feature that is the replay tool. Now, while I was at King Software House, I got an exclusive look at this with Joel, and I thought it was amazing. It needed to be released to us. And in the upcoming update, they're giving us just that. This tool allows us to do things such as this, or even this, allowing us to bring our scenes, our ships, our locations to life and make miniature movies out of them. But how does it work? Well, let's get started straight away. So I'm gonna hit Alt F10 and you can see we've got this menu here. Now, first off, we've got Reload World. That'll reload the world to its last save. And this is very important because you'll need to reload your world to reset all your characters to their starting positions, just like a movie. Now, next, we've got Manage Characters, so we can pop characters into the game. But before we do this, I'm going to press F6. What F6 does is allows us to cycle between the characters, but we're going to need to make sure that we're actually in the character's body before we do that. If we're in Spectator Camera, we won't be able to switch. So we can now switch between all the characters on this map in various different locations. So we're actually going to switch to the man in the corner over here so now we've got that we've also got the add character like i said add the character in see him pop into the world we've got the change skins and remove character change skins is pretty so much self-explanatory you can just change what sort of suit you're wearing so we can switch the digital suit and now we can begin recording now replay will just replay the sequence back without actually recording any more new movements of the character this is good to watch it back and see if the guys are actually moving in the right positions but let's hit record and replay so this movement is going to copy exactly what I do. So if I turn like this, walk over in this direction, turn like this, walk backwards, and then decide to sprint or do a little bit of a jiggle around here, walk back around this guy. Now it is limited. I can't interact with terminals and I can't use the remote control block to such an extent. And then we finally stick escape. So that has now saved as a new sequence. We're going to hit reload world. So the main priority I want to recommend to you is setting up your scene straight away. So move all the blocks in position, move all the people in position, save the world. Just like a movie, everyone has the start location. So now the other thing to kind of work out here is the biggie with the loading time. The more people, the more data the game has to save on what they're going to be doing in that replay. So let's take that into consideration as well. So now that we're back in the world, we can actually replay this. But to replay, we're just going to pop into a different perspective. So we've got this guy in the corner and we're just going to hit replay over here. So now you can see the characters moving just like I did following my exact movements around this room. He moves over here, he takes a step back and he's going to replicate the exact movement. So in theory, I could do a massive sort of round. I could do loads of different things. The only thing is if this guy hits an object or there's a block in his way, he will deviate from the room. So now that we're back in, we're using the F6 tool again. And we're finding various different characters at different places. We're going to pop a character in over here. You can see how he just popped into the world. And then we're going to swap to him with F6. So we need to cycle through him until we find the character that is above them drones in that street. So this is the drone. We're going to position him in a nice location. So I actually positioned the guy when I was doing this first shot somewhere within the rubble. So we can actually control all them drones. Now, these drones have been rewired with a cockpit in the center. So... Each one of these drones actually sells, you see the cockpit tucked away inside there, and that's so we can get an astronaut in there so we can track every move of the actual ship. So let's go Alt F10, and we're gonna hit replay. So we get this really cool sequence with these drones flying into the city. So imagine you could replicate this with much larger ships as well, and you can even sort of replicate it with some light combat. So these drones move into position, start grinding. Now you'll notice that every time they do grind these building these drones, sometimes they hit different objects, and it will cause them to go a little bit off course. Sometimes it works perfectly. At the moment, it's working absolutely perfectly. Everyone's grinding away. This would be the sort of shot you wanted to record. It's this particular drone that goes a little bit crazy up here at the top usually gets a little bit stuck but everything you do so if he cuts a block off like that it will fall down there we go he's starting to go a little bit off course but still the idea is there you can begin now moving in getting different shots of these drones working just starting to make your own little movie out of it so that is the replay tool it's as simple as that i don't want to overcomplicate it set up your scene hit the record button save everything reload it and repeat as simple as that anyway let's thank you guys for watching that drone is going crazy. 